Blackwell's Court, a pocket of the country caught between two worlds. The day starts like any other. The world is peaceful, the air is still, birds greet the morning sun. But today is not just another day. Today, Blackwell's Court does not belong to the Worcester countryside. Today, it belongs to Orin. Rakatha, a fantasy world for live action role players. Known as LARPing, this fast growing hobby attracts people from all over the country who want to forget real life for one weekend a month and become somebody else. Welcome to Orin Rakatha. <laughs> None of those fair fighters of bikes when you can murder someone from behind, that's the best way. We decided to give them a kick in, and that way they'll know no to come back this way again. I used to fight a lot when I was younger. Bit, bit less now as I'm old and wheezy, but yeah. You have to do a lot of adventures to, to get serious skills. Yeah, we're a small but elite group. I first got involved in LARP in, in 1983, having been to Wargames Convention the previous year. Uh, it looked like just the thing to do, and myself and a group of friends went up to Peckford and Castle in Cheshire, where live role-playing started at a club called Treasure Trap, and we got involved, and it's been my main hobby and my career ever since. Live role-playing is a natural team-building game. You have to be a team. It's all about the players forming a group and having to fight through the monsters, having to solve the puzzles, the challenges that we set for them. And you save each other's lives, you become friends. I've done lots of hobbies in my life, right from being a teenager to now, and I've never known a hobby like it for creating um, a bond, a friendship, friendships that stay for life. HeroQuest is a system based around war between the good guys, known as players, and the bad guys, known as monsters. Monsters is just a generic term we use. It doesn't necessarily mean you're inhuman at all. Okay. I mean, I've played an entire dungeon where we only ever fought human people. As monsters, you play a varying amount of things. Sometimes <coughs> you'll, be able, you'll be able to play spellcasters, so you'll actually be able to cast spells the same way a normal party member would. Mm -hmm. I can vocal length six of my um, lightning bolt sixes. It's a high damaging spell, which I can vocal length, a ritual level spell. So my, my main offense is big lightning bolt spells. So I, and I have the ability that when I cast one, I can actually release another one without having to cast it. Fork lightning. Lord's restore my 74 to my command, and I'll restore my 74 to my hand to come forth and strike upon this land. Lightning bolt, 16 hits, storms aim me lightning bolt, 16 hits, storms aim me lightning bolt, 16 hits. We often use monsters that can't be killed. Really? Yeah. I've come up against monsters we couldn't kill before we actually had to back down or run away. So it's not always a case of just going, right, there's the next monster, let's go kill it. It's You've got to think about these things. Yeah. Yeah, battle's going quite well. I mean, OK, I uh, don't know how many monsters were killed. I was killed. But at the end of the day, we went in there expecting to get killed in there and we came outside and managed to uh, make them want to uh, run away for a bit, so... Hey, Besto. Brilliant, really. I've been laughing for a year and a month now, and in that time I've done three separate systems. Hero Quest is a great way to meet new people. It's a great way to make new friends as well because everyone here is working together as a team to complete their storyline. 
LARPers are probably the least prejudiced of people. We don't hold, because we're sitting around with people who have horns on their head or fangs or they've got blue, bl green, brown, black, white skin, we don't care. <laughs> In one way, it's just a, <clears throat> it's a bit like when you're kids and you're playing Robin Hood and May Marion. All it is is we've grown up and become big kids who have, you know, plenty of time, well, not plenty of time, have time to go out and play. For a lot of live role players, it is about the escapism and the fantasy of being the hero in the field, or the healer who, you know, tends to the wounds of the hurt, you know. You get to meet characters and people that you kind of class as you as a second family in a way. I look out for all of them if I can. Traps are often elaborately planned by the event's writers. The players are unaware that danger lurks just around the corner. So, uh, we're on our way to the way station. Yes. Um, uh, we fought some hoardlings up there, but uh, we knew we'd find some elementals on the way. And lo and behold, some blue elementals. Repulsion! Oh. Uh, it's a tough fight. There's sleeping people all over the shop. But you can wake them up quite easy. Um, I couldn't hurt them. It's a bit of a bummer. Should never mind. Uh, so we're going to carry on. We're all alive. Great. It's a fantastic atmosphere to be around. They are some of the nicest people you'll ever meet. And I suppose that's why I enjoy doing it. You know, they're not just your normal everyday customer. It's 95 sort of percent men and they do like their meat. They've just, you know, fought God knows what, monsters and evil things and they are exhausted. I provide hot food, big smile and drinks and they treat you like a queen. It's, uh, it's not that it's dominated. I don't feel it's dominated male. It's male. It's, it's very male, do you know what I mean? But you've got some um, female people within this that are such high-ranking characters, and without them, they can't survive, you know. Who's putting their weapons on the table? You're on dirty minger. They can be quite comical with their characters towards me, and sometimes it's, you know, very serious, like this meat, feed me now, and, uh, you know, they're on their way, and um, I'm, I'm very much here for them. Yeah, and uh, rather than the other way round. Meal times can be tricky. The monsters have taken over the food hall, and the players must work out what to do. The role playing is improvised. Anything could happen. Although centred around fighting, some hero quest disputes are solved diplomatically. Matthew is playing a powerful monster. They have brought shame to us. I stand here now and say they must be purged. What say you? Is the will of the temple to the four winds. The Boreas will be exiled from our tower. We shall see. This is not the last that shall be heard of this. Sirocco! This is my hobby and I love it. I've never had as much fun as I do when I'm at an event. Whether I'm playing or monstering, it doesn't really matter. I kind of, I like being a hero. You know. It, it, I realise hero, hero is a sort of vague term, but I like being the people that saw you centred around. You know, you get it because you don't get that in real life. I would say it's more a chance to actually behave the way I can't at work, because obviously I have to be very serious at work. You have to be very calm and controlled, and um, 
yeah, it's a chance to sort of break free from that and behave in a way you can't normally in real society. You know, in real society you can't go and just kill someone for looking at you funny. It's it's getting away. It's escapism. It's pure and simple. That's what it comes down to. Fire elementals who are about to attack the party. We basically they're made from fire because a summoner will summon them to the field and use them to do damage. They'll be doing magic seven damage and they're only taking magical hits. So basically anything goes. Absorb that spell. I was probably the first to die because I had the Druid Tertius coming on to me quicker than I could have moved away. <laughs> Monsters! <laughs> Monsters are supposed to die. We are here for the entertainment of the players at the time. So, to be honest, they had fun. It was a little bit challenging, but it was fun. And all we're doing is draining them down basically and later when they're down then we give them a good kick in. Go Steve, put stop eating the pies. <laughs> You don't have to worry because you're your own character and it doesn't really matter what he thinks or what she thinks. All that matters is yourself. I get to come out and play the fantasy hero who wins the day and saves the world from the evil, you know, Agothians or Morgoth who kills the dreaded necromancer Dim One. It's that childhood fantasy, you know, you want to be the hero who saves the day and you get to in one element. In character, most memorable, happiest moment is gotta be when I've been talking about the song The Minstrel Boy. Basically what happens is the kid destroys his own heart because it's his only, you know, it's his only possession in life and so instead of letting the enemy take it and use it and play it, he'd rather rip it out and say, you know, this is my freedom, you cannot take it, I will, you know, gladly pay my life to be free. I'm not always bubbly, a lot of people find me very hacked off a lot of the time, but people know that when I'm here or after I've been here, that I will be in a bubbly mood because I've been having a laugh, got the aggression out and that I'll come back in a happy mood and take it easy for a few days. Most memorable moments in my life has been that uh, I've been so many places and seen so many people and got to meet so many people. And low points is generally losing friends and loved ones and you just at those points you get so down and then to be honest when I've come here when I've been on a low and people have been around me to perk me up and you know you come out of that phase of Mm, I don't want to do this anymore because I feel bad to, yeah, I'm going to get in there, I'm going to have a laugh and I'm going to keep going because that's what they want me to do. To be honest, if you're not prepared to get up and try and get past what difficulties you have or what problems you have in life, then you're going to lie back and you're not really going to enjoy life. So, you know, 
get, as my mum always tells me, get out there and enjoy it. So, sod it, do it. <laughs> Man of Harlech, stop your dreaming. Can't you see the spear points gleaming? See the warrior's pendant streaming to this battlefield. Men of Harlech, stand ye steady, it cannot be ever said ye, for the battle were not ready, stand and never yield. From the hills surrounding, let this war cry sounding, summon all to come, brass call, the haughty force surrounding. Men of Harlech, unto glory, this shall ever be your story. Keep these burning words before ye, Welshmen will not hear.